If I talk about the Children of the Corn movies today, I can't remember if I talked about these or not. It seemed like I talked about them last year when I was going through all my DVDs. I might have talked about them, but uh, I can't remember. Anyway, here's a video just for Children of the Corn. But uh, here's the first one with uh, Linda Hamilton. You might remember her from uh, Terminator, Terminator 2. She plays in this one. I'd say I really like this one. This is the best one, I'd say, in the whole series. But uh, the kids are creepy in this one. The Isaac guy is kind of creepy. And it has good action, and uh, the kids are really crazy. But uh, I enjoyed the first one. They just now released this on uh, Blu-ray not too long ago, and there's a special edition uh, DVD. I, th I think it has like a red cover. It looks just like this. It's like a red cover. I saw it somewhere for like twenty dollars, but uh, that one I like the first one. That one's good. Then there's Children of the Corn 2: The Final Sacrifice. It's not the final one in the series though, because look at all the uh, other ones there. But uh, I like this one. I thought it was really good. It kind of falls like right after the first one, but uh, the kids are really creepy in this one, and uh, it has a good ending and uh, it has really crazy parts. It's like this one part with this old lady. They knock the the uh, the Children of the Corn kids, they knock the house on her and squish her, and it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of uh, Wizard of Oz, you know, when the witch got squished. But, uh, I like this one. This is a bootleg right here, but it actually, this bootleg is better than the regular DVD you can get for uh, Children of the Corn 2, which is uh, out of print. I think I paid, uh, I think I paid $15 for this. But this one's in widescreen. The regular DVD that's uh, out of print is in full screen, so, uh, this one's actually better than the the regular DVD, I think it is, but uh, it looks good in widescreen, uh, very good uh, looking, but uh, I like that one, that one's good. Children of the Corn 3, Urban Harvest. I hated this movie, I mean, I thought this one was stupid, but I forgot to mention too, uh, Children of the Corn is based on uh, one of Stephen King's uh, short novels, but uh, this one I didn't like at all. I thought it was really boring, corny. But I did like the ending when that big monster thing came out of the cornfield and it was like killing everybody. But that was the only part I liked in the movie. The rest of it, that sucked. Uh, Children of the Corn 4, The Gathering. I like this one. It's got, uh, it's got Karen Black in it. You might remember her from, uh, the De uh, not Devil's Rejects, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. She also played in a Trilogy of Terror. She didn't play in Trilogy of Terror 2, though. Somebody else did. But I like this one. The kids were creepy, uh, Really crazy movie, but uh, I enjoyed that one. Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror. This one is probably the worst one in the whole series. But this one is just terrible. I mean, god-awful. It's got uh, Eva Mendez in it, but uh, I don't really think she was that great in this movie. But I think this was one, like, her, one of her first movies she played in. But the only thing good about this movie is if you've ever seen that Disney movie called uh, Under Wraps, the one with the mummy, and the kids, like, they're friends with the mummy, and it has that one nerdy kid, I can't remember his name, but he plays in this movie. He's like the lead Children of the Corn kid. But, uh, he was good in this movie, but everyone else sucked in it. But, uh, that's not the best one in the series, that's for sure. And there's Children of the Corn 666, Isaac's Return. This is part six in the series. This one follows right after the uh, the first Children of the Corn movie and kind of ignores all the other Children of the Corn movies. But uh, it's got the little Isaac guy in this one, and uh, he's pretty creepy. But uh, this one, it was alright. I mean, it had some good parts, but uh, it was kind of slow, too. I thought it was a little bit slow. But uh, it's uh, worth checking out if you like the Children of the Corn movies. And then the last but not least in the series, uh, Children of the Corn 7 Revelation. This one was actually very boring. It did have a few good parts. I mean, the two kids right there, they were kind of creepy in the movie, but the rest of the movie, just it wasn't really that good. But uh, the one part where the lady was in the bathtub and she got killed by uh, some corn, that was uh, kind of surprising. Didn't see that coming. But uh, those are the Children of the Corn movies. They're actually coming out with a, uh, a remake of uh, Children of the Corn. It's coming on the Sci-Fi Channel next weekend. It's coming on at uh, 9 p.m. September 26th on the Sci-Fi Channel. But it's a remake of uh, this one. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but I'm going to check it out. But uh, hopefully uh, it won't suck. But uh, I think the, the best Children of the Corn movies are probably the first two and four and uh, maybe six. But the rest of them I didn't care for. But uh, that's all I got to say. Stay tuned for some more horror times. I'll be talking about some more movies in the future. Well, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.